I get money and looking for folk. Then I hit cars and bought me some hours. Everyone loves me. I'm in my mood. I'm in my mood. I'm in my mood. Hello, everyone. This is Al Kabir, the analyst. And today, I will be talking Jalen Hurts and Jordan Malata could be the greatest Philly sports story in history. I don't know about this one. This is Al Kabir, the analyst. So first, everybody know I love Jalen Hurts. I love Jordan Malata. Jalen Hurts started from high school, go to, I think, one of the worst teams in Texas. Give them life. He goes to Alabama. I think he changed it. He changes the game there. Uh, to be honest, we don't really hear too many good things about Alabama quarterbacks since Jalen Hurts, the two is the Matt Jones. But when you look at the other Alabama quarterbacks, it wasn't really nothing. They always had a good offensive line and a great running back. The quarterback was just a cog in a system. Jalen Hurts go there, um, get benched, come back in the game, wins the national championship. Then, because he won the excel in his career, he goes to Oklahoma, do his thing there, has some of his best numbers ever, comes to the Philadelphia Eagles, we look dysfunctional, and even the year we look dysfunctional, when he came in a game, I'm like, well, we're a bad team, but this dude, when he comes in, even if he's just running the ball, he gave this team a breath of fresh air. Like, even when we played the Arizona Cardinals and lost, J Jalen Hurts was behind center, the team felt good it, it felt like a breath of fresh air even that year of just winning four games comes back we projected to win four games again he wins nine games go to the playoffs and now this year coming up he's projected to do more and i want to get into jordan malata jordan malata to me his story is fantastic he's a rugby player never played football um, we draft him in the seventh round. I'm thinking like, well, we don't really know what position he's going to play. Maybe he plays defensive tackle or defensive end. No offense to those positions, but it's not as much technique as the offensive line. So transition, he's a tackle. And there were stories of him. This is where the camps wasn't public. They were like, well, Jordan Malata is getting bullied by, I think it's Osman. Remember that guy? Jordan Malata is getting bullied by him. He he just not fitting into the offense. So it was a week where basically our whole offensive line was hurt. They were like, well, the coaches was like, we're going to give Jordan Malata a chance. And all the stuff we was hearing by the media, we like, Jordan Malata? He's horrible based on what the media is telling us. He comes in. He had a decent game. And I'm like, he's not that bad. And everybody agreed. Like he, He's just not that bad. And he just got better and better and better, which led to a $16 million contract, what they are calling one of the best contracts in the league. And I agree. I agree on both sides for Jordan Malata and the Philadelphia Eagles. But to basically come from, well, I'm not sure if he's going to make this team, but we will see, to, I would say, at least a top 10 tackle, including left and right side, but top five on the left side in his position, left tackle. I think he's top five, and I don't think he's number five. So these dudes, they came basically from nothing. J Jalen Hurts was here to be a backup quarterback. Jordan Malata was here. He was just, maybe he makes the team to, well, when you mention in the left tackles, you got to put him up there. Now, a Hollywood story like this, say, sounds great, but you got to give it to Nick Foles. Nick Foles is the Philly sports story. He, he's, he's the guy. Nick Foles get drafted by the Eagles, get let go, literally sucked on every team he played for, thought about retiring. Howie Roseman and Jeffrey Lurie like, let's just sign him back, see what he could bring. Sign him back, 
like all oh, no big deals. Nick Foles haven't been that good for the past couple of years. We've seen them with the Rams. We've seen them with Kansas City. We don't know. Carson Wentz is having one of the best, best years of his career. Carson Wentz get hurt. We bring in Nick Foles. We like, man, can can Nick Foles do it? Can he do it? Wins just constantly win, win, win. Get us to the Super Bowl and win. I remember it was times I think when we played the Raiders and we barely won that game, there was talks of benching Nick Foles. Doug Peterson really thought about benching Nick Foles and bringing some bringing in another quarterback. But Nick Foles proved himself, had one of the best games, outdueled Tom Brady, blew out the Vikings. Every game we was projected to lose because of Nick Foles, but he overcame. So Nick Foles is definitely the what Philly sports history, whatever you want to call it. But Nick Foles is that guy. Now, Jordan Malata and Jalen Hurts could be a solid number two. If they bring a Super Bowl, but Nick Foles is Philly history. He brought the first Super Bowl ring to be drafted by the Eagles. He made some history besides the Super Bowl. I remember he threw like seven touchdowns in one game. Nick Foles did a lot of good things for the city, but it's just when he was with other teams, he sucked. But when he was with the Eagles, he brought it. He he brought it, man. But these two can definitely be a solid number two. Even if they win a ring, even if they win two, three rings, they still a solid number two because Nick Foles will always be remembered bringing that first ring ever with the odds against him. But, hey, man, what do you think and how do you feel about this? Can Jalen Hurts and Jordan Mulata be the greatest Philly sports story ever? I, I don't think so. I always will believe it's Nick Foles. But this is Alcabeta Analyst. Ghost. Hey.